everyone, it's Abby. Today I wanted to walk through all the layers of my Edwardian tartan walking suit that reminds me of something that Anne of Green Gables would wear so much. You can take a look at my Edwardian green silk Anne dress if you want to know how I did my hair. I've really enjoyed living my Gibson girl Anne Shirley dreams with these outfits. It's really one of my favorite historical eras. So let's take a look at my tartan walking suit. The first layer of any historical outfit is the chemise or shift. Normally for this outfit, I would have this chemise as the bottom layer, but I had already gotten the corset on for my other dress, so I didn't want to remove it. This chemise is the Truly Victorian TVEO2 evening style, so it doesn't show with my evening bodice. The split drawers are also TVEO2. You'll notice they button in the back. I accidentally put them on backwards. <laughs> Whoops. But they still seem to work. The split makes it easier to use the restroom when you have a corset and dress on. Next step is the knee socks and shoes. The socks are from Amazon and the shoes I found secondhand, but I think they were from Target. I didn't have boots yet, but I found a pair of Oak Tree Farms Edwardian boots after I created this video, and that's what I would actually wear with this outfit. It's good to remember to do this step before the corset because it's harder to lean down after that goes on. Next, I tie on my bum pad. For Edwardian era, the corsets have room especially for this, so you need one under the corset. The pattern came with my corset pattern. The corset I made using the Truly Victorian pattern TVEO1. I found this beautiful, soft, vintage pink silk that I used to make this corset. The base layer is canvas, and the boning is straight and spiral steel bones. I place the bust padding before I start tightening the corset. They go in under each breast to take up the space in the corset. I start tightening the lacing. I usually have my husband help me with this part. It's a bit difficult to do on your own, but I wanted to give it a shot for this video. I tighten until the bones are straight up and down, with about a two inch or so gap. I love how this corset really creates the Edwardian S-curve. I could add another pad over the top of the corset for more bum volume, but it's really not needed. I had an old petticoat that I made for another costume. I removed the elastic and added a tie. This works great for the first layer petticoat. For the second petticoat, I used the pattern for my walking skirt, made a flat front, and gathered tight back. 
I added a gathered ruffle to the middle of the full-length skirt for extra volume. The next layer is a ruffled corset cover from TVE02 as well. I really like how it gives volume to my shirt waist. Next I put on my Edwardian shirtwaist. I made this using Sense and Sensibility Patterns, Beatrix shirtwaist pattern. I modified the pattern to have larger sleeves, and I inserted a lot of lace that my mom gave me. It's vintage handmade lace by a friend of my mom's mom, and given to her for her wedding. My mom gave it to me for my wedding, and I felt this was the perfect project to use the beautiful handmade lace. It's the wider lace in the shirt, plus the collar. I used some smaller lace and pin tucks to create all the fun details in this shirt waist. There are a lot of buttons. It's a loose shirt, so I'm able to reach them all. Then I tie the waist tie to get the front to blouse Edwardian style. Next, I put on my tartan flannel Edwardian walking skirt. I have a video of the process to make this. I tend to do up the hooks and then twist the skirt around to situate it. Next, I have a black velvet belt that I put on. Most Edwardian outfits have a nice large belt involved. Next I put on my super awesome tartan flannel and velvet jacket. I have a video on how I made that linked above. Anne would have been thrilled with the puff sleeves on this. accessories, I have a pearl necklace and brooch that my mom gave me that are passed down in my family, along with the pin on pocket watch. They are all vintage pieces that have family history. I really like that about my accessories.
I made a chatelaine to carry all my sewing supplies and my tiny chainmail purse that I also made. I loved the chatelaines that I saw on Pinterest. I just had to make one. Finally, I have a wool beret or tam that I found in France years and years ago. I feel like it goes with this suit really well, and it also really helps with the Anne look. I forgot gloves when I was inside, but I have a pair of black leather gloves that works well with this outfit. You'll see in the snow footage. I got super lucky and it snowed right after I finished this outfit, so I was able to get snow footage. I can confirm that this outfit is very toasty in the snow. I'm cheating with fluffy snow boots under the skirt. I also can confirm that you can frolic in the snow in a corset and full Edwardian outfit with no problems. Thank you for joining me today as I showed you all the layers of my Edwardian tartan walking suit and even got some snow footage in there. If you liked this video and want to see more costume and sewing videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Happy sewing!